Hey guys, as we have seen in our previous video, the temperature measurement is very much uh, essential and it is the need of every industry segment. So in every industry, the temperature measurement will be always there. Suppose in the process industry or in oil and gas industry, in a power plants, nuclear power plants or uh, automotive, that is the uh, aircraft manufacturing industries in the HVACs as well. Also, in the pharmaceutical segments, the temperature measurement will be always there. It is the need of every industry segment. So guys, uh, we have made a separate uh, temperature measurement systems, uh, a separate video on that particular topic. Please click here on the tight top right corner to know more about the uh, temperature measurement systems. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the thermocouples and it's working basically. So guys, thermocouples are nothing but the couple or a junction we can call it as a two of which is composed of these two dissimilar metals that is by joining two dissimilar metals to form a junction basically so guys uh, over here this is the another junction that is which is at ambient temperature so guys over here these two junctions are formed the one is at high temperature that is hot junction the second one is the cold junction so guys the thermocouples works on the th three basic effects that is first one is the seaback effect the second one is the peltire uh, effect and the third one is the thomson's effect so let's check out all these three effects the first one is the seaback effect so guys whenever there is a thermocouple that is whenever these two dissimilar metals are joined together to form a junction basically so the these two uh, first one is the hot junction and the second one is the cold junction basically so guys this seaback effect tells us that this emf is regenerated at this both two junctions basically the amount of the emf generated is different for different combination of the metals basically so guys that's what the seaback effect tells us the next one is the peltire effect So guys, uh, whenever these two dissimilar metals are joined together to form a junction that is hot junction and the cold junction, the Peltar effect tells us that suppose the EMF is generated with within the circuit basically. So in a C back previous there was the EMF is induced between these two junctions. Over here the Peltar effect tells us that EMF is generated within the circuit itself. So due to the different temperatures of the two junctions in the circuit, the EMF is generated within the circuit. So that was the Peltire effect. The moving ahead, the next is the Thomson's effect. So guys, whenever these two dissimilar metals are joined together to form a hot junction, and the second one is at, uh, that is the cold junction basically, the Thomson effects tells us that the potential difference exists in the circuit due to the temperature gradient or temperature difference along the entire length of the conductors within the circuit so guys there is the potential difference which will occur in this circuit so guys the emf induced w is very small and can be neglected by making the proper selection of the materials basically so guys that was the three basic effect that is the seaback peltire and thompson so guys let's check out the how it works basically a thermocouple how does the thermocouple works so guys as we have seen there are the two dissimilar metals the first one metal is the iron the second one is the constant iron. these two dissimilar metals are joined together to form a junction that is at the higher temperature which is a hot junction and the at the normal temperature that is ambient temperature which uh, which is cold junction the emf is gets induced in a circuit basically due to the temperature difference so guys the, this cold junction is at the atmospheric temperature and we know the temperature of the atmospheric temperature and this is the known temperature and the hot junction becomes our unknown temperature so guys if the temperature of the both the junctions is same if the temperature that is the hot and cold junction becomes same the equal and opposite emf will be generated at the both junctions and the net current flowing through the junction is zero basically so since the two junctions are 
maintained at different temperature basically so the peltire emf is generated within the circuit and it is the function this peltire effect is the function of the temperatures of two junctions at dissimilar as we have no the known temperature we can calculate the unknown temperature by measuring the emf which represents in the millivolts so the voltage or the current output obtained from the thermocouple circuit circuit gives the value of the unknown temperature so guys uh, uh, the induced emf the value of induced emf in that particular circuit is very small or it is very negligible basically so guys we need extremely sensitive instrument which will measure this emf and which will show the reading basically so guys for that purpose the galvanometer is used and a high precise potentiometer or we can call it as a self balancing potentiometer which is used so guys in this video we have seen the thermocouple and its working so guys i hope you understand the it's working so guys if you have any doubts in this video please do comment below please hit like if you like my video please do give give, give us thumbs up also guys please share all my videos to the social networks and guys don't forget to subscribe to my educational engineering channel engineers academy thank you so much for watching this video guys